Hi. Uh, if you don't like uh, mathematics, this uh, problem uh, might be challenging for you. And today we have a problem about probability rule. And hopefully after my explanation you would be able to easily to solve such problems. And today's problem is, in a family of seven children, what is the probability of obtaining the following numbers of boys and girls? All boys. So uh, we have... Uh, First question, seven boys in a row. What is the probability? So let me put here first child, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So uh, what is the probability for the uh, first child to be male or female? And uh, as you know, this is uh, 50 to 50 percent chances. Uh, in reality, it's a little bit different. For example, uh, we uh, might have uh, actually male uh, sperm defines uh, whether we have a female or male boy, and uh, all the 23 autosom 22 autosomes uh, chromosomes would be uh, the same, but uh, uh, Sex pair, uh, sex pair chromosomes that might be XY chromosome or XX different, and uh, these two chromosomes define whether this is going to be uh, female or male. So XY stands for the male and XX stands for the female. And uh, about 50% of the mass of the sperm uh, this is due to uh, mass of the uh, nucleotides and uh, chromosomes in each of the sperm. But in uh, sperm that is XY, Y chromosome is substantially smaller. For example, this is going to be size of the X chromosome and this is going to be the size of the Y chromosome. So uh, Y chromosome is uh, substantially smaller than Y chromosome, uh, X chromosome. So uh, this sperm has a little bit more chances to swim faster than uh, this one. And at the birth, we have uh, normally rate of 50, uh, 51 boys to 49 girls, but the age 18, 20, reproductive age, uh, these chances uh, becomes equal, 50 to 50, due to high mortality rate of the boys in comparison with the females. So we would uh, consider this one-to-one uh, -one chances of uh, being with a girl or boy. So um, when we have first child, this is one half, percent, one half chances that this is going to be a uh, boy. And uh, what about the second child? We have the same one half chances that this is going to be a boy. So every time that we have child, no matter how many child of what gender we had before, this doesn't have any effect on the uh, what is the gender of the next child would be. So a uh, third child also had, have uh, one half uh, chances to be a boy, and uh, so for the rest of the uh, children. Every time we have 50% uh, um, chances or one half uh, to have uh, child of a specific gender. In uh, our problem, we're given that this is uh, should be uh, a boy, female, male, and uh, so what? how we can calculate the chances? And each independent event, we have just to multiply uh, all these independent events. Uh, so here we have, uh, for example, what chances of uh, Having two children in a row of male, we have one-fourth. 
we just multiply it one half by one half and chances of having uh, two boys in a row is one fourth and we just proceed doing the same thing with uh, all the rest so for example here we have one eighth chances and here one sixteen five boys in a row we have one out of thirty two chances and six boys uh, one out of sixty four and here we have one out of one hundred twenty eight chances so this is uh, answer for the question A. We have one out of uh, 108 chances of having uh, boys uh, in a row. Also, this can be uh, re notate, uh, notated in such form that you can use in calculator, for example. If you have scientific calculator, you just... Uh, rise chances that is one half by seven and you will get the same answer so uh, question b all children of the same sex and we have uh, equal chances to have uh, while we are trying to get seven boys in a row absolutely the same chances uh, that we might get uh, seven girls in a row so in this uh, case we uh, use another rule that is uh, 100 of 28 chances of having boys we have to add 100 1 uh, divided by 128 chances of having girls so chances equal so we have two chances out of 128 to have seven boys in a row or seven girls in a row or we can um, reduce by half so one out of 64 chances and this is the answer for the second question thank you for attention this is all for today please subscribe to my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye